Hello, greetings again to you from the United Igala Kingdom Mobile Museum and Research Center. My name is Ambassador Ayeb Abdullahi Adojo, the General Ambassador of Igala People worldwide. Today, I want to talk about a particular culture that is similar in Igala, is also in Bini, in Ishakiri in Ijebu uh, kingdom. Uh, yes, you know, these cultures, there are, there are some cultures, again, in those days that the interpretation were done in various ways, especially as a result of inadequate research work. And presently, we are getting some information that is putting some things straight. Uh, for instance, in those days, the history or the origin of Igala was attributed to Bini, to Eri, to Yoruba, to Jukun, until some of the people started saying, for instance, the Jukun, the uh, Akuka of Wakari, the one before the present one, when he did not travel to the other world, said that Igala did not have any link with Jukun. And so many attacks again, the Ata, uh, Idaku also confirmed that no, that Igala originated from ancient Egypt. Same way, the Ata before him, Ata Agabaidu, Aliu, or by you just say that Egala originated from Yemen or Gala in Ethiopia, and these are the new ones that we're able to get to get, and that was able to cancel the hypothesis of Egala from Bini and other places. And also, those ones like the Bini, the Yoruba, and the, even the uh, Eri people also started working on the new history regarding their own uh, origin and some various conscious. And so, again, it is no longer news or new to anyone that Igala originated from ancient Egypt. In fact, apart from the cultural relationship which we have been given on Facebook and uh, in various lectures and uh, presentations, we have, our rel we have our relatives that have confirmed this. For instance, the Lebo people of Senegal, they have confirmed that Igala people are the relative, and we all migrate from ancient Egypt. We also have the Gala people of Ethiopia that confirm the same thing that we are one from ancient Egypt. The Maragole or uh, Gara people of Kenya also confirm that we are the same people that originate from the, uh, the same ancient Egypt. Then the Igala kingdom also confirm that Igala people of Nigeria are their relative and they also migrated from ancient uh, Egypt. Same way, the uh, Azande people of South Sudan also confirmed that uh, Igala people are their relatives and we all originate from ancient Egypt. And so, having known that is one of uh, the problems, one of the problems have been solved because if you don't know where you are coming from, you will never know where you are going. And so, Going to the major topic of the day is this conscious uh, coronation, one of the coronation rituals or rites, which is the seclusion. Before the, the king, let's say when the king designate is chosen, he has to go to seclusion. And this seclusion, sometimes it varies, mainly uh, seven, uh, 70 days or three months, but in some cases, it may not take as much as that, depending on the knowledge of the the chosen person or the culture of the people. Uh, for instance, in Ijebu, the seclusion takes place. I'm talking about Ijebu in Ogun State. Takes place at Odu. That is where the person will stay for some months while undergoing some uh, lectures, some studies, some rituals, and uh, some traditional uh, activities. In the case of Bini. Uh, islands, according to sources, that their own takes place at Uselu. I don't know if this is the right pronunciation, but again, what you need to know is they have seclusion again uh, done as part of their coronation uh, uh, rituals. In the same way, the Bini on uh, the Ishakir on is also uh, similar, the same around 90 days, which is three months. And so, even in Igala, we have such just that in the case of Igala. The days are not uh, up to uh, that 70. This is mainly because it has been believed that the people or anyone who is going to be at that designate have been 
in the panelists knowing the do's and don'ts and some other traditional rituals. So thereby, uh, creating a very long time for him to study some things is not very necessary. But after the seclusion, there is what that is normally taking place. The people, no matter how long the distance is, the king designate will trek with people from that location to the town. In Ijebu, uh, the same thing is happening, or the same thing has happened. In Igala Kingdom, it's also happening. And our own people, they trek from Ugolao in Ufu, local government, still very far from Ufu or from Ugolao before you come to Ajaka, before you come to Ida, a very long distance. But this is where the seclusion is. Then in the case of Bini, it's also happening. In Ishakiri, it's also happening. What is the origin of this long trek? And what is the meaning? Where did this originate from? When did they start it? Like I said, various reasons have been attributed to it. But this originated from ancient Egypt. And the meaning is called set festival or set uh, said rite. This said rite is the rite that is performed to ensure that the king will be able to bear the pains, tolerance, tolerate each person or everyone irrespective of their character where he is going to rule his people. It means endurance. It means if he can walk that long distance without complaining, this means that whatever he is facing in the palace or in the kingdom, he will be able to do. The second part is that it helps to show that the king is fit and well to rule the kingdom or to be on the throne of his ancestors. And so, this irrespective of various uh, interpretations given in various kingdoms, this is what research has been able to give newly. And I think more research can be done if there is a, a superior opposing view to this. Meanwhile, from my research, it originated from ancient Egypt and it is called, or it was called then, Saint Festival. Thank you again. Watch this, share with other people. This is knowledge. Again, like the page, Abdullahi Ayegba, a United Igala Kingdom Mobile Museum and Research Center. To give you more, you have to like the page. God bless you. Thank you.